every family has that one person that's perpetually late. In my family, it's my brother Ryan. But this time, we were late to a funeral. This week on Sackville Sunday Stories. So crank it up. House party, massive paper cut from here to here. There was a guy walking a ferret on a leash on Cobblehood Road. If my brother was a superhero, his name would be Inappropriate Timing Man, because he's always showing up late to functions. So much so that over the years, we kind of pad the time, like if there's a party at eight, we tell him seven. So he comes strolling in right at eight. It's just something we do. When that Marky Mark Planet of the Apes movie came out, he asked me to hold some seats for him at the theater. I sat in there and man, they pumped that movie up. The theater was packed. Everybody was trying to get these seats that I had some coats on. And they were like, those seats taken? I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're taken. Those seats taken? getting closer and closer to the time. Some people sneaked in from other theaters because they wanted to see the movie so bad because some people were sitting on the stairs and they're all eyeing these two seats that I'm holding for Ryan. The theater goes dark, the trailers are playing, people are all still looking at me. Then, the movie starts. People are all kind of still looking at me like, hey buddy, like what you hold those seats for? The movie started. Then all of a sudden Ryan comes drifting in through the dark. Chad! 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 He found his seats. Now that's not to make fun of him. I mean, you know, that's just his thing in the family. I'm sure that if you were to say every family has an X, a Y, or a Z, I'd be some of those. We had a dear family friend pass away. His funeral was downtown Halifax at 11 o'clock. Ryan was living in Sackville. I was living in Clayton Park. He said, I'll come by and pick you up and we'll go to the funeral. To my surprise, he showed up early. We got into the car, we drove in. Quarter to 11, we arrived in front of the funeral home on the corner of Roby and Quinpool. All set to go in, first time we were on time, ever. That's when Ryan spotted the subway and said, I need a roast chicken before we go in. I didn't eat breakfast. And that is the catalyst for us being late to this funeral. Wee! Oh, my back! Oh, that was a piece of ice. We got to the funeral home, it was about quarter after 11. The funeral home was an old house that had been remodeled into a funeral home, so living rooms and parlors and sitting rooms and the like had been converted into viewing areas. Ryan and I walked down a long hallway with a doorway on the left. We stood outside because we wanted to make sure that this was the right room. We listened carefully. We heard the person's name. We was like, yes, this is exactly the right room. And we were making our ready to slip in. Ryan looks at me just before we entered and he says, Slip in the back, no one's the wiser. On three, one, two, three. I know a lot of you are thinking, hey, did they slip into the wrong room? No, it was absolutely the right room. But from that door, we didn't walk into the back of the room. We actually walked up onto the altar where the minister was delivering and, and the casket was, and there was like hundreds of people, all eyes on us. After we jumped out of the doorway, we were just briskly walking down the hallway. My brother looks at me and said, there's no way they didn't see us. And it was true. We managed to find our way around to the other entrance of the room and slinked in and stood at the back with our heads down. Who's the person that's always late in your family? Tag them in this video. My name is Chad and you're watching Sackville Sunday Stories on Sackville.live, the channel for you, whether you're an old school sack villain or a new school sack vegan. See you next week. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobbaquid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save.